Welcome back to Eye in the Sky Drones. You know we do drone tech, video tech, but mostly we talk about drones because that's what our channel discusses. And today I want to kind of zoom in on the Mavic 3 and a lot of, a lot of, something that's been bugging me about the Mavic 3. This is not by any way, any way means to bash the Mavic 3. I've had the Mavic 3 since release date and I'm loving it. Um, I knew I had to wait for updates and I've been waiting for my updates and the drone just keeps getting better and better over time. But I wanted to talk about a problem that I saw arise that I didn't have when it first started out and that is the GPS signal lock. As you know if you have a Mavic 3 right now it takes a long time for that GPS to lock. When it when I first started hearing about it in the forums, I didn't have the issue, and this was before the update. So people would talk about they were waiting three minutes, four minutes, five minutes for the GPS lock. I didn't have to wait that time period. I don't know about you, but I didn't have to wait. After the update, I saw my times increasing over and over. Now, when you once you do the first battery, when you get to the second battery, it's fine. The stuff's cached in, cached in, cached in, and it, it recognizes where you're at, and the, it locks like that. But that first battery, if you're in a new location and you haven't been there before, or even if you're in an old location and you're just back, it takes quite some time. So hopefully everybody's saying this is software related and it's a fix that they can fix in the next update. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed DJI fix the GPS satellite lock. I just want to hear from some of you guys that are watching. What are your satellite lock times? What, what, what type of times are you getting? Do you have to wait a long time? Let me know in the comments below what you have to do. Another thing that I wanted to point out, a lot of people saying are saying that when you're on a flat surface on the ground, they want you to take off before you lock onto you get your home point locked. I would advise against this. That's how flyaways occur. People go up in the air before they get the, that home point locked, and then when the home point locks when it's in the air, it gives way for the drone to do something screwy and it just to shoot off out into the distance never to be seen again. So I know it's a long wait, but take that time, that three or four minutes that you have to wait, make sure you get a home point lock before you take off. It could save you a lot of heartache in the, f in the future if you wait for that home point to lock before you take off. So I would advise against going up 50, 40 feet to try to get more satellites. One thing I wanted to touch on, some people are saying that it could be hardware issue. I'm praying that it's not a hardware issue and it's just software issue because like I said, I didn't have this problem at first and now I have it. Again, DJI is using a whole new satellite system than it did on this previous one. I hope I'm saying it right for the correct terms, but they're not using the same constellation that they were using with the previous drones, which explains why the previous drones lock on the satellite so fast. So it's a difference here. If anyone has a quick fix or something that they know of that we can do to kind of reduce that time with the satellites, please let us know in the comments. We're all together. We're all a group here working with one common goal. That's to fly safely and get, get great pictures and great footage. So if you know something you can do to kind of fix that time on that satellite lock, please let us know. But well, that's all I have to say about the GPS issue. I know I'm having it. Not everyone may be having it, but I'm pretty sure they are having it. Um, if Again, if you have a fix, leave it in the comments. Alright, that's Eye in the Sky Drone signing off. Be safe and have fun flying.